Welcome to our tutorial about VBA's built-in data inspection functions. VB has a few is functions or data inspection functions. These functions test what kind of data type is variant or can be. First, we've got a declaration of our variable as a string right here. Secondly, we state that this variable takes data input from the text box in. Next, is passes through the date function. The resulting value is captured by the label control. The is function returns two values, true or false. Let's run our program and see if our data can be converted to date type data. I'll input a string argument and get a return value of false. Let's input a date this time and compute. This time we receive a return value of true. OK, let's return to our code in design time. The next function is the isEmpty function. This works with variable arguments only, not with controls. This means the argument wasn't initialized with any values. Next is the isNull function. It returns true if the argument holds null. For example, an empty string. Let's run and test. We get a false value returned. All right, back to our code. Our next argument is the isNumeric function. isNumeric holds true if the argument can be converted to numeric data. It holds false if the argument can't be converted to numeric data. If we need more specific information about data types, we can use the var type function to see what data type the return value represents. You can check the Visual Basic help files on this. For example, a return value of 2 represents an integer. A return value of 7 represents the date type of data. String is represented by 8, and so on. Let's comment this line out. Now our variable is declared as the variant data type. Let's test our program. Compute, we get a return value of 8. This represents the string data type, as we can see from the Visual Basic help file. Now let's declare this variable as a date type of variable. I'm going to leave the suffixes the same and test. Let's enter a date. Compute. The return value is 7. Let's bring back the help file. This shows me that we are dealing with the date type of data. We'll try an, an integer now. By the way, you see how I get a drop-down list here while I type? If you want such a list to appear that helps you filter in the syntax you're looking for while you're typing your code, you can go to Tools, Options, and ensure that Auto List Members is checked. And let's test again. Compute. Our value is 2, which indicates that we're dealing with the integer type of data. Back to our code. Now let's input our argument directly into the function. We're going to enter a value of 88.99. Let's test. We get a runtime error. We're going to need to comment this code line out. Let's run it again. Now we have a double data type. If I put this in quotation marks and run it again, I'll get a return value of 8, which is the string data type.
I can put another function inside the var type function and run it again. In this case, we end up with the date data type. Or var in equals time. And let's enter var in here. Now we'll run our application again, compute. We get a return value of 2 or integer. That's because var in is declared as an integer. In a situation like this, we really should get a runtime error. Let's try date here and run it again. Now we have a value of 7. The correct data type value was returned. And this concludes our tutorial on built-in data inspection functions.